Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alexei. I'm the T Platform's Product Marketing Director. Um, today, I want to announce our new system, which is called TB2TL. Uh, it's a blade system for HPC only. Uh, the real interesting thing about it is the compute density and performance per watt, first of all. Uh, let me talk about feeds and speeds a little bit. So what we have here today is actually a single blade server part of this uh, part, part of the bigger system there are two newest GPU cards called X2070 coming from NVIDIA. Each is having the Tesla chip and 6 gigabytes of uh, GDDR5. Um, there are two general purpose CPUs, Xeon's low voltage 5630, that's quad core and I think it's 40 watt envelope. So when you start thinking about the system level, you get 32 GPUs in 7U and 32 CPUs, quite a lot of power uh, to compute. And then, uh, going further, the system the chassis is standard one. So you actually, what you get at the end of the day, you get six systems like that in a 42U. Uh, you want your petaflop, you, you deploy 10, 10 racks, 10 42U racks, and you get it. So one thing which is important, the performance per watt. The 17.5 uh, teraflops per enclosure is quite a lot, and there is a heat associated with it. So it's 12 kilowatts peak power on the lean pack. So what the good thing about it is we actually having the best performance per watt on the market today. If you look at the green 500 uh, list, so what we talk about is. 1450 gigaflops per watt uh, with this system. The thing is, you still need to dissipate the heat, and it's either cold door design uh, of the rack, or you actually use hot dial, cold dial containment. Um, so this system, from what you heard so far, is a high end of the market. It's for the customers who are really concerned with the density, with the real estate. Uh, if you are asking me about the uh, you know availability and how we want to market that in the U.S., well, it's our you know just first steps, first foray uh, here. We're going to hold talks with uh, local system integrators and OEMs. Um, we should be able to to market that system and, and service that in U.S. Uh, somewhere at the end of Q1, beginning of the Q2. The price-wise, uh, let's say the list price, we, we want to have the tag of about 300,000 US, but again, it will all depend on the particular project, the OEM in place or, or reseller in place, and you know, concrete details of how we need to engage.